Not the happy's ripple chips. Come on, Don, huh? See you again, Don. <laughs> it must have been all. Well, maybe it wasn't quite that bad. Anyway, today I go after a grocer's goodwill a little different. I'll show you. Watch me come on to a grocer. Marco. Good morning. Uh, just put in the salmon balls away. Mr. Marco, you want my coffee ring today? Sure be a shame if something bad happened to your store here. How are you today? Uh, I'm a feel lousy. No, I'm sorry to hear that. Because I like you, Mr. Marco. Hey, something new. Be a shame if this ran over your kid. Hey, these are pretty slick. Uh, you noticed that, eh? Sure did. Yeah, I bet your customers will go for them, too. Uh, with my customers, maybe yes and maybe no. Uh, we'll see. Go on, you know, doggone well they will. Okay, they will. They don't argue right me. They played it nice this time, see? You see, I want every grocer on my route thinking, what a moron. That Bill Dudley is okay. Never slams doors. Always seems friendly, always got a smile. What's he on? Always interested in my store. Treats my place with respect. What does he want from Never me? Never slams his trays around or makes a nuisance of himself. Why can't he leave me alone? I like to do business with salesmen like that. But his bread sucks. <laughs> Believe me, building up goodwill is important. Without it, you get nowhere in selling today. Look, why don't you stay here and rest a minute while I go in and check the sales? Going off now. Oh, I wouldn't think of it. Devil's going to show up as a hooker now. <laughs> Mahavishnu Orchestra. I don't like the way that guy's yakking. I do. You would. You're a girl. If you want my opinion, he's in a rut. Oh, well, if you want mine, he's in the groove. Huh. Thanks for the match, lady. What match? Oh, uh, oh, yes, you're welcome. Haven't I seen that guy before somewhere? Beer wine. Wine made from fresh beer. Now, I was going to tell you about the second bullseye of mine. Plus, for you. One way to go after it is to use this and this. A hat and a pad. What's this? That, my young lady, is my business Bible. Ah. I've got a complete and up-to-date picture on every stop on my route. Measurements of every woman on my route. I know exactly what sells in each store and what doesn't. I know what new items I've tried in each stop. How each one is done. No guesswork. The facts are all there and they're up-to-date. Oh, you're reaching out, aren't you? Well, team up these facts with a little bit of this. And you can grab the plus volume without the risk of getting stuck with a lot of returns. So a guy gets returns. So what? Let the boss worry about him. <laughs> <laughs> Going over to Al Lewis's house. But why does the strip club need bread? Here's something else a fella can do to get plus volume. Watch me in here. Oh, no, Ron! I can't believe I had to waste him. You didn't have to shoot him in the face. <laughs> Forgot the bread. <laughs> Say, Mr. O'Connor. Oh, I don't live with my yes, mother. Bill. I'm uh, putting in a half a dozen of these new sweet doughs. They were never so good last year. We're running them again. You telling me how to run my Since store? It's a good profit item. I'm sure you want to keep an eye on them, see how they're going. Look, I got a restraining order on Here's you. A sample. See for yourself how good they are. Oh, thanks, Bill. Take it out of the wrapper first. You see, talking it up is another key to getting plus volume. You can get in a good plug when you introduce a new package, a new product, or a special. Yeah, that's how it works. The more you talk it up, the better chance of getting him to push it. Then the kids will buy it. But what was all this mumbo-jumbo business with so many of this at so much and so many of that at so much at the last store? <laughs> oh, the count check. That's something I always do before I put the stuff on the shelves. Avoids mix-ups later on. Thanks for the and carousel. this is especially important in big bakery departments. You see, in supermarkets, there are a lot of bakery salesmen coming in. They're like roaches. The count check also reminds the grocer of what baked goods of mine he's got to sell. Niels Bohr buys groceries. The better he knows my products, the better chance of getting his help and selling them. And that makes for plus volume for me. And that means money. Money I can cover my naked no, butt with. Third mm -hmm. bullseye of mine. Selling displays. You know, I'm filled with resentment. That can be a little rough. You see, well, take this route of mine. I've got all kinds of bread racks and display shelves. Some of them are pips. I guess other guys' routes are the same way. I used to give up easy on displays. I had only one rule I followed. Kill or be killed. As long as the stuff didn't fall on the floor while I was there, 
It was okay. I was a sick man. No more, though. Now I just throw it on Believe the floor. Believe me, there's no trick or mystery to building good selling displays. Well, a platypus could do my job. Just stack the bread so the brand name shows best. And shows off the bread to best advantage. I love each of my loaves. And give the specialty loaves the best display space. Mm-hmm. And don't squash bread to get it in. Mm-hmm. If a store is selling more bread than I got room for in my display space... Then we got a problem. I talked to the grocer about giving me more room. Say, near the checkout counters. Or around the counter next to the register. Maybe I rough him up. Maybe I bust his chops. Now, baked goods are impulse items, too. So I always display them as near eye level as I can. So they're easy to see and easy to reach. Never put donuts next to the kitty litter. Well, you figure it. A shopper spends an average of only 35 seconds in a baked goods department. Hey, lady, There's not me. much time for your display to work on them. I'm especially bratty. So me. display it within easy reach, group the items together, keep from burying any item out of sight. In a shallow grave. But you know, sometimes I want to put a bullet in my skull. Well, the other bread boys are doing that much. So, how do you get the jump on them? Maybe rough them up a little. With special display and promotion ideas. Mm-hmm. Take the other day. I noticed the stop on my route was running a special on Hamburg. Okay. So, I talked the grocer into including rolls and a special display next to the Hamburg. It didn't work. That's where getting goodwill pays off. If you got the grocer's goodwill, you can get extra selling displays in the store built around special promotions. Mm-hmm picnic displays, especially good just before holidays and weekends in summer. School lunch idea displays, especially good in fall. He's going over the edge. Stop him. Better breakfast displays or any others that tie in with national promotions. I'm making over three million a year. Seasonal promotion displays. Fruitcakes around Thanksgiving and Christmas. Speaking of fruitcakes. Hot cross buns and Easter cakes at Easter time. Funeral breads, war breads. Displays that suggest ideas for all types of entertaining. Okay, we'll buy the bread. I use all the banners and cards and streamers or printed promotional material I can get. Anything to give any display more sell. Triumph of the bread. But all this talk of mine boils down to just this. This is a tough business. A mighty competitive business. I've been shot twice. the guy who aims... For grosser goodwill, plus volume, and selling displays, divided by four. Be a darn good one, too. Well, now, that was quite a speech. Oh, I'm sorry if I bored you. I... Bored me? Oh, no, no, quite the opposite. You terrified me. Tell me, how in the world do you get all of those things done? Oh, the whole secret to that is taking it in small chunks. And uppers, dexies, speed. Maybe one week I'm shooting for special displays in ten of my best stops. Next week, ten more, and so on. After all, that's only two a day. Or maybe my goal for this week is to spend a couple of extra minutes in my biggest volume stops just to work on goodwill. I steal bites on the side. Always got something cooking at a few stops. Always something aimed at one of these bullseyes. Mm -hmm. Grosser goodwill, plus volume, selling displays. And are you sure nobody could unsell you on these things? Not a chance. I like the payoff too much. It's five bucks a week. Well, don't you ever slip up? You coming on to me? Sure, I'm just as human as the next guy. That's why I keep these bullseyes handy. So that a small slip-up doesn't turn into a big trip-up. Oh, uh, well, off to the races. What do you say? Make sure you stock your truck up so that you don't... Well, you know. Damn you all to my place. It's going to turn out the bread truck driver's Jesus. And another great thing about bread. It's really great. Yeah, that's fine. Thank you. Hope you accept bread in your life. To sell this piece of tripe to a magazine? Cheese. Grosser goodwill. Plus volume. Fay acting. Displays. Flamboyant prancing. Okay, so you want to bet. But Bill Dudley's just one guy. Oh, well, uh, maybe i better drop down and see some of the other fellows on your list. Oh, no, you don't. I just waxed that. After all, that was only a bet. But from now on, I'm going to keep a pretty close watch on these guys. Especially when they're <laughs> showering. And so will I. <laughs> Smoke on the water. <laughs> okay, Jerry, shut off the projector. <laughs> Some broad, eh, guys? No, I'm just kidding, of course. <laughs> but you want to remember the three basic points. Right? Lust factor. <laughs> 